Hello and welcome to Learn with Rishi. In today's video, we're going to tackle one of the most common sources of confusion in the English language. The differences between there, there and there. You got it right. Many people struggle with these homophones, but fear not. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp on how to use each of these words correctly. We'll start by breaking down the meanings and usage of there, there and there, followed by 10 questions to test your understanding. Our objective is to help you feel more confident and fluent in your English communication. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now, when spelling the word there, there or there, it's important to know which one to use. Their hats are there and their coats are hair. There's definitely something wrong here. And if you haven't figured it out already, here's the correct version. Their hats are there and their coats are hair. Now, there is a possessive adjective and shows that they own something. There is an adverb and is used to indicate a place or a position. And finally, they are, which is there, is a contraction of they are. So it's very important to get these three word meanings fixed in your mind. And we can all be excused for not knowing the meaning or spelling of an unusual word, but it's a sign of poor English if you don't know the basic words. So let's dive into some examples here. I've got 10 questions that I'm going to dive into. And let's go through this together. It's their fault that they lost the game. Well, if it's their fault, then that's a possessive adjective because it's someone's fault. And the fault belongs to someone. So we will go for there with a T-H-E-I-R. So remember, it belongs to someone. The fault belongs to someone. Okay, he put his books there in the corner. So if you remember, T-H-E-R-E -E was focused on a place where something was put. So we use there as T-H-E-R-E. -E. On to the next one. They're always late for school. So the correct answer is they are. They are always late for school. So again, I hope you can see how I'm breaking this down, how, how I'm almost relating each there to the context, but also to understand if it's a possessive adjective, if it's an adverb, or if it's seen as a contraction. So once again, let's go for the next question and let's revisit this. Have you seen their new house? So again, it's somebody's house, so it's possessive. So we will go for their. And once again, their dog has destroyed our flower bed. So it's somebody's dog. So it's again a possessive adjective. So we go for their. He put it there, but now it's gone. So once more, this is an adverb which is required because you are stating the place where he put something. So we have T-H-E-R-E. -E. However, for the next question, they're very sad and upset about it. So we would say, they are very sad and upset about it. So that's a contraction. Over to the next question. Put it up there. Once again, we have an adverb which is required because you're stating a place where something must be placed. So we go for there. And once again, pause the video at any given time, attempt the question and then press play when you're ready to go. Okay, next question. I think that they are wonderful people. They're so kind and helpful. So the sentence states who is so kind and helpful. So you need they are, which is there. They are so kind and helpful. And then over to the final question. 
Their methods are very effective. So we would here use a possessive adjective because the sentence states how effective someone's methods are. So it's there. And that concludes our lesson on there, they are, and there. We hope you found the video useful and helpful in clarifying any confusion you may have had about these commonly misused words. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing and applying what you've learned. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Learn with Rishi for more helpful English language lessons. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video as we continue our journey of learning and improving together.